What's going on? Uh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jumpstar January 2016. Going to do a tag right quick. This is the perfect world YouTube tag. Uh, ten questions. So let's get into it. <clears throat> In a perfect world, I'd sleep. In a meadow full of chocolate, uh, where it's like you know flowers that have Hershey's, uh, Re you know I'm sorry, Hershey's kisses, Reese's cups, Twixes and shit. <clears throat> where there's a waterfall full of just melted chocolate. Mm hmm. I I sleep there. In a perfect world, I would never. Hmm. I would never have to worry about what I eat. I would just eat whatever the fuck I want to eat. In a perfect world, I'd wear nothing but my fucking underwear. Yeah. <laughs> In a perfect world, my hair would be a full-fledged afro, and my hair would be colored either blue-black or just straight-up blue. And if y'all look at me like, why blue? Because blue is my favorite fucking color. Uh, in a perfect world, my kids will, hon will honestly just be uh, respectful. Um, I know you guys uh, probably already saw the uh, video I did uh, <clears throat> when I came home Jewish. And even with my mother's reaction and everything, the uh, respect and reverence that I give her. Again, I was raised, like I said, I mean, because I'm only 29, but my parents were older. My grandparents were older. So I was raised during a time where it was yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, nurse, yes, sir, no, sir. <clears throat> it was a certain type of decorum that you had to have. Like, even now, I can talk to my mother about anything, but I cannot talk to her like we you know the best of friends I meaning i can't be like yeah and this motherfucker it ain't like that you know what i'm saying so just that if my kids can just embody that and not take away the uh, like the other shit that i did like you know like i want them to be me now not me growing up because <laughs> me growing up yeah I, I was a handful <laughs> um my house um uh, my house would uh would be one of two things i would like a three-story house not to include the basement <clears throat> or ranch that house and i'll explain why because <clears throat> in the basement i want to be where it's a nice big area for a laundry but i want the rest of the basement to be like a nice for entertainment where i can throw a party we can get fucked up down there and it not be anything and if some shit get broke except for tv and shit but if some shit get broke yeah, what the fuck it is because it's in the basement clean that shit up later the first floor would just be, you know, living room, dining room. Um, the dining room, I want like a big size dining room with a long table. So if I invite my family over, I like I have a lot of family on either side. <clears throat> and I know that uh, my wife will probably have a lot. So have it to where there's this long table where all the adults can sit. There's going to be a separate table for the children because children don't sit with us actually it's gonna be two tables it's gonna be one for the children and one for the teens your ass still a teen you go sit your ass over there adult sit at the table we will have a dope conversation in this bitch which is a bit long table you know for family you know like that's what i want not to mention i want a big kitchen like i want to be able to shit i'm about to knock over my damn train speaking of this, hold on january challenge but um like i want a big kitchen because <clears throat> like i like to cook and i want to be able to maneuver around everything uh second floor is going to be just nothing but bedrooms and of course uh bathrooms and the third floor <clears throat> is going to be four different rooms uh, one is going to be a room for me it's going to be like my man cave slash study where you know i can go in there and just do my own little thug dizzle like this or whatever case may be business all that like that because what i want is <clears throat> every room to be about something where when i go into the study like i said part of it is going to be where i can do this and then the other part where i can do business where that room is for that also my wife will have <clears throat> a similar sized room that's her woman cave where she could do whatever it is that she want to do and i'm not going to sit here and put no example because i don't want nobody to think a motherfucker being chauvinistic and shit but whatever she wants to do she has a room for her to do whatever activity suits her and then uh to have two almost like playrooms for uh children <clears throat> um because like i said i don't know uh how close together if i have more than one child how close together they're going to be in age and especially if they're of two different genders you know have one playroom for you know the uh for my daughter especially if she has female friends and another one for the kids because when they go into their rooms 
Toys and shit, <clears throat> we ain't finna have toys and shit in the motherfucking room. That's what you got a playroom for. Your room is gonna be for your ass to study and for your ass to sleep. That's what your room is for. The only thing with that is y'all know I've had knee surgery, so I don't want to be climbing stairs. So if I can't get, if I don't have an elevator in that type of house, then I just want a ranch style house where it's just a flat. So I don't have to climb stairs. And if that's the case, I want all of that in there. That, that would just be my dream house, all right? I know that was long. <clears throat> in a perfect world, my car would be the same as that car I have, a Honda fucking Civic. I am not a motorhead. I'm not. So I really don't care about that. And my car does what I need it to do. In a perfect world, I'd live... You know what? Honestly, I would live in a place that is uh, free of judgment, that is free of racism, that is just free of hate, <clears throat> where people are not quick to label you, where they don't want to put you in a box, where there's not like a societal norm that you have to fit into, because I, I hate that shit. I hate being put into a box. I hate having, well, I don't live in a fucking box because <clears throat> I just live my life fucking me. You take me as is. If not, then you can get the fuck off the boat. So... I would like to live in a place like that. <clears throat> in a perfect world, I'd eat whatever the fuck I wanted. And in a perfect world, uh, my significant other would just love me flaws and all and be able to understand that we can be together and not be all up on each other, which means that, you know, we can still love each other, but we don't have to sit here and be under each other 24 hours a day because, like I said, I like being by myself a lot of the time, man. If you want me to be up under you, if you up under me the whole motherfucking day, we gonna have a motherfucking problem. So that is uh, my perfect world tag. If you guys haven't done it, like I said I didn't make it, but I found it. So if you guys haven't done it, you can go ahead and do it. I'm not tagging anybody in particular. And uh, yeah, please rate, to comment, subscribe, and share. This is Jumpstart 2000, Jumpstart January <laughs> 2016. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.